Every step taken by the State of Israel, whether political or military, is reported by international news outlets. Often they are extremely critical. Consistently negative reports by mass media can incite as much as inform. This means the ongoing battle between Palestinian militants, their supporters, and the Israeli military takes place not just on the ground, but on the air. An example is the aggressive stance taken against this Israeli military spokesman by a newscaster at Al Jazeera. وعلى مدى أربعة أشهر تقريبا من التوغلات والاستياحات الإسرائيلية للقطاع سقط أكثر من 250 فلسطيني ماذا حققت إسرائيل سوى القتل والتدمير هناك؟ These tough questions asked by the media are answered by Israel's official spokespeople. One of them is Olivier Rafowitz, an IDF reservist. قبل أكثر من عام من الآن إسرائيل تركت قطاع غزة ومقابل فك الارتباط النشاط الإرهابي شهد زيادة ملحوظة. Olivier is not only a spokesman for the state of Israel, he is also the director of online channel InfoLive TV. He was interviewed in the Arab media as a military expert. The questions put to him by Al Jazeera reflect the negative view much of the world has for the IDF action in Gaza. هذه النغمة أيضا في المقابل تكررها السلطات الإسرائيلية لطالما جربت إسرائيل الحلول العسكرية وفشلت في ذلك ما الذي يمكن أن تحقق من وراء هذه العملية التي يقال أنها الأوسع من نوعها في القطاع. Olivier and other Israeli spokespeople offer Israel's case in a way viewers can understand and remember. Even when the guns are silent, the media war continues. The work of Olivier and his colleagues is not over yet. Their goal is to balance consistently negative images of Israel in the media.